Hello, I'm Rob Braun. 2020 is a year none of us will ever forget. Yet despite the disruption and uncertainty we're navigating, Heritage Bank is celebrating 30 years of serving our neighbors and small businesses across the region. In tumultuous times, it's easy to get caught up in today's news and trying to forecast what's ahead. We think it's important to remember this isn't the first crisis our community has braved. Heritage Bank was born out of a sense of community pride and concern. Concern that we were on the verge of losing something essential to the ongoing prosperity of the region. Local banks were quickly being acquired by large banks and out of town banks were moving aggressively into the area. A group of local entrepreneurs and community leaders responded by going against the trend by opening a new bank. Sounds simple, but it was actually a bold endeavor. So why start a bank? There had not been a new bank charter in Northern Kentucky since 1926. And what had happened was, was consolidation. Everything had been consolidated. A lot of the big out of town banks had come into Northern Kentucky and acquired everyone. There was actually only one community bank left at the time when Arnold and the group of original investors and directors decided to, to that, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna try to start Heritage Bank. I was a young 29 year old lawyer, so I didn't have a lot of money. So I, but I was an original investor, and uh, but I was the uh, I was the general counsel, uh, helped put the application together, helped work on pro formats to get the bank started. I look back on it now, and I think, my gosh, what did I do? There's not that many 29 year old attorneys or anyone that that starts that helps yeah. to start a bank, and, and so no, it was a no. I, I just thought it was a great venture. Was when they first opened the trailer in 1990, I was uh, seven months old. So there's actually a picture of me somewhere where I'm in a stroller. My mom and grandma pushed me around. So I was there from the very beginning. Arnold Cadell had a vision for this bank. And Arnold Cadell had proven himself over and over and over to me as an astute businessman, a wonderful Christian man, a good family man, and all of those characteristics. And I felt like if Arnold's heart was in this, this was bound to be successful. And uh, those instincts were correct. We had two charters been going for it at the same time in Northern Kentucky. And we were, we were sort of the little guys in, the, in, that, uh, in that mix of the two groups that were trying to get a new bank charter. There were, there were a lot of guys that borrowed money and put mortgages on their house. To, to get the money to start Heritage Bank because of their belief in, in the community bank necessity one for one in Northern Kentucky, and also their belief in, in our founder, Arnold Cadell. I can't tell you how many people that I personally know that Arnold sat down with and coached in his office of how to run their business more successfully. Well, Ar Arnold was probably more aware than I was of the value of a community bank. Uh, I mean, he sat on the board of a community bank and, uh, and he did business with a community bank. And when the community banks in Boone County disappeared, uh, uh, he felt that pain probably more than anyone else. Heritage Bank was founded with the right mission the right values, and the right leadership. And those leaders were willing to continue learning as the bank grew. The keys to Heritage Bank success are simple, really. Treat customers the way you would want to be treated, the way you'd want your family and friends to be treated. Look carefully at financial statements, but look even closer at the people behind those financials. Keep decision-making local. Stay focused on what benefits the community in the long term. Nurture a culture where employees feel appreciated and are inspired to do their best for the customers and for the bank. We're involved in the neighborhood. I mean, we're out every day in the community. We know what's going on. Whatever idea you're bringing to the table, whomever you're talking to, whether it's you know, somebody that's you know, janitorial level to the CEO of the bank, uh, everyone respects what you have to say and the land wants to hear what you have to say. Um, so that, that warm coziness where, you know, I don't think I ever, ever felt like an outsider, which is rare. Uh, I went to see Chris Cadell one day and actually for a loan, oh. I didn't know about Heritage. 
and uh, in the conversation he asked about employment and asked if I would consider going into finance and I was like not until I walked into this bank. The decision makers are in the market. They are, are, they are entrenched in the communities that we serve. The senior management team is all, whether they're whether they started with the bank or whether they came from another bank, they all are in the market. They all have grown in this, grown up in this market, and they all serve this market. They all go to church in this market. They all have friends and they, whose children live in the market and are friends and go to school together. So everyone is interested in augmenting this community in a way that is, is sound. I just think from a community bank standpoint, it's just a matter of the local decision making is huge. Um, being able to make a decision for yourself having to check with somebody if I need to order a pen or get something or you know or not have to fill out a cost center report things like that and you treat your own areas kind of like your own business as well so it gives you ownership on it which is you know makes you care that much more when you have to make a decision that might be harder or difficult. I think from the very start um, you know our family and the bank has not been focused on the bottom line it's been let's build relationships in the community and I think the more time that you spend with people and uh, get in line with working with them and they trust you, they're gonna, that's going to feed out to other people in the community and it's just going to keep growing and growing. So, you know, it's a bigger bank, you can kind of hide. Yeah. You know, kind of, you know, there's so many layers at some point that it's always somebody else's fault or somebody else's problem. Where it's not a lot of places to hide at a community bank. You know, we know the community. We know the needs in our community. Uh, we have, a, we know some of the history of the community and that all of our decisions are made locally. It's not, we're not calling someone out of state to make a decision about, you know, someone that they don't know. We're perhaps getting on the phone or driving across town and getting an answer. Heritage Bank has a lot to celebrate. We've been doing a lot of things right for a long time, but at the end of the day, it's the customer experience that defines Heritage Bank. Why bank with us? In my experience, it's knowing people see me as a person, as a neighbor, that makes the biggest difference. So what did you get right? Let's say you're a half a million dollar bank, you have 50 employees, and all the decision makers are right there in the community. Well, when you become a $200 billion institution, the people that are making the decisions aren't necessarily in that community, so they don't know what really drives the community. Okay, so we have the digital aspect where we can provide those digital services like your remote deposit and sell, which you can transfer money between people. Yeah. Um, people like to use those, especially during the age of COVID. It's, the adoption rate has accelerated tenfold. Um, but we also have the ability to have people that know how to use the product as well, that you can call a brand and say, hey, I'm having trouble with mobile deposit. I'm having trouble with you know, figuring out how to turn my debit card on and off. Can you walk me through it? We have the people there that can actually walk you through and actually kind of help you through that as well. Um, but as far as the product offering, I don't think there's anything that the larger banks offer that we don't offer. Um, yeah. Just because they're larger it doesn't make them more technological savvy. It just makes them harder to navigate, I think. Any issues as a stock member, uh, you would have the customer in front of you and say, hey, there's an issue with my checking account. We have to call the headquarters, and every person we would talk to will have a different answer. So, and then you have the customer in front of you and you feel kind of helpless because you can't give that information or help them. Here it's different. It's, I, have a, I have an issue with a customer. I call the box box and get the answer. Yeah. They just look at numbers. They yeah. check the box. Yeah. Yes, no, see you later. Yeah. Or we go, eh, we can make this work, I think. Yeah. You know, take all the variables and, and put them in an equation. And we can make this safe loan for us and help the business grow. When I came to Heritage Bank, it felt like this is what banks should be. And when I worked at the big banks, this is an interesting, they would call me. My branches were always in the top, top 10%. They would say, we want you to get on the conference call and tell people how you do it. Well, there was no secret to how I did it. I just treated people the way I wanted to be treated. And with that, then they would recommend their friends, their family, and other people to me. So my success, honestly, is built on treating people right, answering their calls. If I can do it, I let them know I can do it. If I can't, 
I'll explain why and help you get them to where they can get approved maybe in the next six months or year. Yeah, I've, from customers I fed, you know, I have some customers of ours that have my cell phone number and they're not afraid to use it. Yeah. It's not, you know, the big, you know, huge million dollar customers. It's, you know, our local AC company that, you know, lady had a problem the other day with, you know, getting her mobile deposit She called my cell phone, we got a fix, but I mean, how many other banks are gonna have, you know, customers be able to call, you know, a COO or a CFO and say, hey, fix this and get it fixed. When people look at Heritage, they don't necessarily realize uh, the, the value that we bring for the size that we are. You know, the regional banks say, okay, we, we can do all these things, all these different products and services. But if you, don't, if you don't know or have talked to anybody that works in Heritage, you wouldn't know that we do all those same things, but better. There's so many great people yeah. that, are, that are personally invested and emotionally invested in Heritage Bank. Yeah, I think that's why we were a top workplace again. That's why we were the best of the best. Is because of what we do and who we are. We care about our employees. This is my first company that I've worked for that does this competition. And, um, you know, I see it around at other businesses. It's really nice to be a part of it. You know, I feel um, even more like, first of all, that we're doing the right things about our employees, one. And two, that, you know, we're committed to that and we really take that feedback seriously and we really do try to you know make the changes that need to be made to make everybody feel more welcome more included better taken care of whatever it is so um it's a big deal for us the last several months have been dramatic for everybody and every business heritage bank has experienced an exceptional amount of change there have been great highs and deep lows it's hard to believe that in the short time I've been the bank's spokesperson, we've opened our second Ohio branch. We also saw our logo go up on one of the region's largest venues for entertainment and sports. We lost our founder, Arnold Cadell, then months later endured the unexpected passing of our CEO and chairman, Chris Cadell. We've had a lot of tragedy this year and in the past year. But I still believe we're blessed. Through all of these changes and challenges, Heritage Bank has remained focused on customers and community. Employees pulled together to help customers through COVID-19. The bank has rolled out a record number of new products and services for consumers and businesses. We feel a responsibility to live out Chris Cadell's vision for the bank's role in the community. When you met Chris, you knew it was sincere. It just wasn't. It just wasn't putting on because he was chairman. Um, a good person. It truly is a community bank. And I've worked for other banks. It started off to be a community bank, and through the years, as they were bought or sold, you know, you lost that feeling. But um, Chris Cadell was committed to Heritage Bank staying a community bank, and committed to the communities that it is in. Heritage Bank has been blessed for the last 30 years, but we already have an eye on the future. What's next for Heritage Bank? We're not going to change who we are. We're not going to change the vision of Heritage Bank. We're not going to change the, the customer-based, community-based relationships that we do. That's not going to change. That, that's who we are. That's how we have been successful at, as an institution. The next thing for Heritage Bank is, uh, you know, to keep going for the next 30 years. Uh, my goal is to keep taking the legacy that my dad and grandfather cemented the last 30 years and continue that on, not only for myself, but for future generations uh, to continue on the bank. We want to continue to grow Cincinnati and just be the hometown community bank for people to look to in Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. We see a need for a bank with our mission throughout Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. I, I think the legacy of the Heritage Bank name, the Cadell legacy, the, and the, the things that they set out to do for the community goes beyond Kentucky. It's a, it's a format and it's a, it's a game plan that you can use in any community. And the fact that the bank was already operating in Ohio was a good sign that it was going to work anyway. I was brought on board to, to help you know, take Treasury to the next level and really have that upward momentum and trajectory that the bank is looking for. 
So I really look forward to being a part of that team and saying, I helped grow the bank. Christian values applied to banking, commitment to community, local decision-making, technology focused on making banking easier and safer and not replacing customer access to our people. Bankers who enjoy building customer relationships and feel vested in your success. If you've been part of our first 30 years, thank you. We hope you'll stick around for the next 30. If your bank doesn't operate like Heritage Bank and you're wondering what you've been missing, we look forward to becoming acquainted.